I'm D'Angie Ray, your public communication coach and trainer. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a headshot and resume. Number one, create your resume by opening a word processing program and type your name in a 15 or 20 point font. Center your name and apply boldface to it to make it stand out. Number two, list any unions or associations you belong to. Ensure your information is accurate and correct. Number three, provide contact information. Place your agency or manager's contact information to the side, either to the right or the left, of your name and union affiliations. Many agencies will provide you with stickers that you can easily place on your hard copy resumes. Unrepresented talent can simply type a personal phone number and email address instead. Number four, give a short physical description of yourself. List your statistics such as height, weight, hair shade, and eye color. If you are a singer, list your singing range, bass, tenor, alto, mezzo, or soprano here as well. Number five, list your acting experience. Create subheadings for your acting experience. Create boldface headings for theater, television, and film credits in the appropriate order. List each role underneath the appropriate subheading. Type the name of the show, type the role, the network, and the director for television roles. List role type for film credits as well as a production company and director. List theater credits by including the name of the play, the character name, place of performance, and the director. Create another subheading title commercials. Simply state conflicts available upon request, as it is not necessary to list the work in commercials. Number six, state your acting training, awards, and special kit skills. Under acting training, list any place you have received acting lessons or classes and the type of training received. List any awards your acting has garnered under the award subheading. List any outside life skills you have that may give you an edge in the casting under special skills, such as the ability to perform maybe certain accents and be specific, the quality to perform specific sports, musical or dancing, know-how or other specialized skills like gymnastics, horseback riding or wood carving. Number seven. Set up a professional photography appointment to shoot headshots. Prepare at least two or three separate looks for your wardrobe. Plan your headshot session with the photographer you select. Choose a headshot from the proofs you receive, ensuring the headshot resembles you. Number eight, have reproductions made of your resume and headshot. Proofread your resume to ensure it is error-free and then take your selected photograph to a reproduction agency that specializes in headshots. Make high-quality copies of your acting resume and use rubber cement to attach your resume to the back of each headshot. Once again, I'm Dean Ray, your public communication coach and trainer. Thanks for watching.